George Catlin was born in Pennsylvania in 1796. He lived for 75 years and died in 1872. 75 was very old for people in that time. Maybe his long life was due in part from all the exercise he got from traveling the West. Here is a story. 16 years before George Catlin was born, his mother was abducted by Indians, now called Native Americans. George loved the stories his mother would tell him about her time in captivity. George's father was a lawyer. George initially became a lawyer too. However, two or three years into his career, he decided he didn't like being a lawyer. He sold his books and bought art supplies with the money. He started painting portraits. George had a strong desire to do something special with his life. Once he saw 10 to 15 Native Americans on their way to Washington, D.C. He was fascinated by their proud, stoic faces and their fancy costumes. He decided to spend the rest of his life traveling around the country, painting the people of various Native American tribes. He also kept a detailed journal about the tribes he visited and collected many Native American artifacts. When he went out west to travel from tribe to tribe, he lost his friends, his wife, and his family. By lost, I mean they all stopped caring about him. No one supported him. No one thought what he was doing was a good idea. But George Catlin felt driven to record the history of the Native Americans before they were wiped out by the white man. He visited 55 tribes, two-thirds of those in existence at that time. He had to work quickly on each painting before his subjects tired of posing. First he would paint the chief of each tribe. To do otherwise would have been disrespectful. Some chiefs would not let him paint them at all. After painting the chief, if the chief allowed it, George would paint other people in the tribes. He painted the men, the women, the children. He painted and wrote about their customs, ceremonies, clothing, artifacts, weapons, and daily lives. Some chiefs couldn't understand why George would want to paint the squaws or the women because they thought that they were insignificant or not important. People of that time thought Native Americans were very different from them. They thought were they were kind of savage-like. Thanks to George Catlin and his paintings and journals, people discovered that the Native Americans were not so different. They were happy and friendly. And they were warm and filled with wisdom. They love their children just like we do. George Catlin is a reason that we know so much about Native Americans today. Without his dedication, the history of the Native American probably would have been lost. <laughs>